can we avoid not making mistakes, but taking a longer path to our true desires and getting on that road where we just feel alive and so happy and that we're thriving? Is there a way to avoid, let's say somebody is in a relationship or a marriage and after 20 years or 30 years they, they decide, okay, it's time for me to get divorced. Like, aren't there signs that we see beforehand that we might be pushing aside? And can we get off that? Does it have to take X amount of years? Can we do it in an instant? I believe we can. I believe that our human attempts to override the system, override those signs that it sees, because logic is still hardwired into our programming, and it wants it to be what it wants it to be, and it thinks this is the easier road because it's already in it. So, with all that said, how do you get ahead, so to speak? And that's always going to fall back into trusting the divine, trusting the invisible, which is so challenging to do, especially in the midst of things. And it's about choosing what's choosing you. So, we know what that feels like. It's effortless. It's no effort. It comes easily and we're just flowing and whatever it is a job or a relationship it just comes so easy but when we're not choosing what is choosing us there is stress we're trying to force our way we're trying to make something work and i'm realizing that it's not as clear cut as it seems to be right when things happen and find their way into our lives and to us we try to then take it and say, I know where this is going. This is for this. I had a desire for, and it's showing up in this manner so I can take it the rest of the way, use my effort, show up, and just put so much energy into this and it's gonna work out. Just have, thanks God for handing me this part. I got the rest. And when we start falling into that struggle and stress, we're, we can recognize that we can pause right there and check in with the divine and say, Maybe it's not for what I thought it was. Now, that's the challenging part because I, I just feel that it's the programming. That's the only thing that I could fall back to is that the programming of the avatar has to recognize that in this game, some people call it, that a true partnership is realizing the human will never, ever, ever, ever know. It can only perceive. It can only receive. And say thank you, and really pull the divine in to ask for guidance along the way for the entirety of it, because it's not always what it seems. And that is allowing what's choosing you, because you're not doing any part of this. You as the avatar isn't doing any part of this. Even when people have ask me, um, how do I find my passion in life? Your passion finds you. It's through your alignment. It's through you returning to that space of allowing our heart to be our eyes because they always were. And when we can settle in that and realize just how little we actually have to do, yes, there's inspired action, but that's different than trying to just effort our way through because we believe it's supposed to be a certain way. And so when we can allow inspired action to have its place, then it's gonna be a lot easier. And so what we can welcome into this entire experience is curiosity. To say, I felt the download, I felt the desire. It feels like it's for this. Allow it to be easy. Allow me to tune into my heart space and discover what it actually is. So curiosity can have its place there, but in that perfect right understanding of knowing. Knowing isn't to say, I know what this is for. Knowing is saying the heart knows what it's for. The curiosity is for me to discover what it is, but just to go and fall into that place and allowing it to unfold. So this is just that uh, short reminder as we step into our day, moment, week, whenever you're tuning into the channel, to remember that allowing what is choosing you to guide the way and there's nothing there's really little that we have to do but nurture nurture that
have an amazing, amazing rest of your day. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.